Welcome all Fire Earth Cusps to your sharper reading for October. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Okay, guys, let's get straight in here and see what's going on with you. Having the quest coming out, beautiful throat chakra of creativity, communication. So this card is definitely talking about you may be on a quest that is unnecessary. Allow yourself the space for self-discovery. It is time to take a risk. Where in my life do I need to walk my talk? Key ideas are being open to wisdom, imagine dangers, commitment to your path. Keywords, courage, journey, and answers. So, you may be on a quest that is unnecessary. Allow yourself space. Huh. So, okay. Okay, then, guys, let's see what's going on here. The next card is patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So it feels almost like you're on a quest to do whatever, whatever it is you're supposed to be doing, but there could be something that's standing in the way that's saying, you don't really need to do that. It's like you're over. You're overdoing something. You're making something too hard. Um, have patience, okay, for the divine timing. So, it, yeah, it's kind of like... Um, you know, like, it's kind of like you might be, kind of reminds me of, like, you're making something by hand when there's a machine to do that for you type of scenario. Like, you're doing something way harder than it needs to be done. Um, view from above. Get the bigger picture. Yeah. Step back and get the bigger picture from the situation because there's definitely, you're taking the hard road from the easier path. I'm not sure exactly. Everybody's story is going to be a little bit different, but you'll know what it is. You'll say, you know what, maybe it was because maybe I am going, you know, off kind of to the left when I should just stay on this path, trying too hard. Maybe you're looking for shortcuts when it's like it's not about the shortcuts. It's about staying on path and waiting, patience, right? Fire doesn't is more impulsive. So the fire may make you want to uh, try to get there a little quicker, right? Um, transform. Yes, because everything's going to transform the way it needs to transform. So there's going to need, you know, this patience for this situation. Sit back, relax, right, so that you can see exactly what it is you truly need to do. Uh, weather the storms. Let it change you. Embrace the unexpected. So there could be things also that are thrown kind of in the way um, as you are on this journey. Um, but remember, right, through every victory comes a challenge. So you're going to be challenged no matter what before the victory. Okay, so if you're kind of trying to sidestep um, challenges, you might even be finding that you're, for some of you it feels, I don't know, that's so crazy, but I feel literally that you're, you might even be making more challenges that are necessary. And sometimes we do that when we sidestep. You might be feeling like I'm going to sidestep this challenge and then it's going to make even a bigger challenge, right? Oh my gosh, totally feeling that. Instead of just walking the path and just allowing the, that challenge to happen. Okay. So, but remember the best way to have patience, stay still, listen, right? Get these chakras together as you have this, you know, beautiful throat chakra, which is of course in your throat, right? And really ground yourself, my friends. Um, this is going to be the earth star chakra, so this is six inches of below the ridge chakra into the ground. This is where you're going to feel like when you're meditating. It's like, you know, it's like you're allowing all of that energy to go through your feet and then really grounding you, right? If you guys do meditation, um, especially guided meditation, they'll talk about that where you're really feeling grounded. You have roots going into the ground, right? Um, that's where that real grounded is coming. Um, and that's going to allow you to really transform find peace. But remember, aligning your chakras is the best with yoga, meditation, with breath work, relaxation with breath work, one way or another. Breath work is always very good for aligning the chakras, whether you're doing yoga or not. Right? I personally don't do yoga, um, but I do meditation and relaxation work with breath work, which will really settle your mind and allow you to open up to see. Okay. And help you really open up these chakras. Over here you have patience, so it's really going to come from the heart chakra to that communication, right, or grounding, 
once again. And of course your solar plexus, which is a solar plexus and your sacral chakra, which is a part of med, uh, manifesting your dream. So, okay, let's see. As they say, that's where your soul lives. Right? Okay. And the best messages coming out, my friends, are yes, needing that courage and the boldness to stay patient. Patience is going to be about you taking on courageous moves and being very bold, right? Because it's not always so easy. But this will actually bring in the wheel of fortune. This is exactly where you want to be. Really bringing in that good luck and that good fortune. Really making things move. And remember, the wheel of fortune has its ups and downs, right? Because it turns right, it turns left. You know what I'm saying? It goes up and down. Um, so that's definitely talking about you know, that coming of that challenge before a victory, um, getting the bigger picture. Domineering the situation. Try not to dominate the situation too much. It feels like, you know, it's almost like, um, yeah, because you're, you have that impulsive, there's that, it's this fire. It's the queen of wands. So it's saying, yes, I, because I, I want to domin dominate this, but you have to do it um, with patience, right? You're keeping yourself courageous and in control, but with patience. She's not in reverse. She's right side up. Okay. So she's saying she is using that, that patience. She's, you know, waiting. She's in the waiting game. She knows what she's doing. She's, you know, she knows something mysterious is going on, right? Because she always has that cat with her, right? So she knows that there's mysteries of the universe that are going to come around, but that allows her to see the bigger picture. She's highly intuitive. So she knows that there's going to be things, but that's because she's got patience and she's aligned within herself um, enough to say this is what it is, right? So that's where you're going. That's where that's exactly where you need to be. That way you don't feel frazzled on your quest or or trying to you know, outthink the situation or overdo the situation when it's not necessary. So there's definitely something about overdoing the situation that's just not necessary, my friends, okay? So transforming within the things where you feel free and what you're creating, okay? So it's definitely the lovers over here. This is about creating and making choices, right, about what it is you truly are passionate about. Having that, old, there's a freedom, though, that also comes towards that and that's going to be freeing yourself from any kind of impulsive moves or anything that you know like I said makes you feel like oh I gotta go this way right no just go with the flow really feeling with the lovers with the wheel of fortune it's really about going with the flow okay so you do have the yeah, a little bit of uneasiness when it comes to the weathering the storm over here. But of course, every every storm has an uneasiness. But it's, once again, going with the storm. Four of Cups, not really having to look down at the Three of Cups that's the uneasiness. Let's look at the cup that's coming towards us, knowing that this is, you know what, this is what's coming. There's that, that hand coming out on the original deck, right, we know, right, that he's getting this ace of cups out of the sky, right? But he's he's looking at these three cups, like, right? He's looking at these other three cups. It's kind of almost like, you know, the five of cups in its own way. Um, the only difference is that, you know, it's almost like, but I need to look at this one cup, right? Quit looking at the spilt milk, no matter how it is, right? Don't, you know, but it's also kind of like looking down and saying, well, this is boring, right? Or this is not going where it needs to be. But it's kind of like the universe waving this carrot over your head going, but come on, right? Go this way, right? So it's definitely about embracing and de um, departing from that situation back to the right path. You you know, it's, it's almost to the point where it's kind of like, for some of you, it's kind of like you can't detour yourself away from challenges. There's no such thing. We live in a world of duality. With negative comes positive. There's no left without a right. There's no up without, 
down. If it, you know, there's always going to be chaos before victory, right? So it's kind of like, it's almost like you're trying to only, like, I'll just go here, but then you find yourself into even more weeds. <laughs> Think of yourself on a path, right? It's like, but I'm not going to take this path. I'm going to go to the left instead of staying on the true path. Oh, wait, but now I just ran into more weeds than I had before, um, right? Because I'm trying to, you know, um, lessen the challenge. Right, but there's a lot of wealth and a lot of growth once you break this pattern, this pattern of trying, right, to, right, go in a different route or trying to do something, you know. And then it's kind of crazy, though. It's also like you're, like I said, it's you are doing something harder than it needs to be. For a lot of you, this is for some kind, this could be business. It's business deals, contracts. Okay, for others, it could be love, you know, it could be a love situation. For a lot of you, it is business though. Okay, but it says you're on the right path. You just need to really trust within yourself about the situation. There has to be a trust. And trust comes first within yourself so that you can break the balance. Breaking the destruction and opposition, right? But, you know, it's crazy because it does show that every time you fall, you get back up. So I'm loving that. I don't see you falling and not getting back up. You are strong. I, well, you are fire earth signs. You're not going to, say, die. Um, but it's definitely talking about, you know, getting back the passion. But it does show that sometimes it does break you, right? Because now it's almost like you're back to the drawing board again. But the, the whole idea of the quest is you shouldn't have to go back to the drawing board. You're just supposed to be patient and wait on for this, okay? Because everything will become justified for you. It's going to balance. See, now you have two cards of balance. It's going to balance itself out. So just stay calm, be patient, relax, do some breath work, meditation, things of that nature. And if you guys need help for any of those things, you can always... You know, go to my second channel. All the in information is in the uh, description area under every video. And also, the link is also on my homepage as well. Okay. But the links are in under every video, guys. Okay, so if you need help there, I am there to help you get that breath work. Let's get in here, figure this out, right? Or just relaxing music that you can do breath work for. Just relax and calm the mind. Okay. Okay, my friends, let's see what's going on. Best messages, please, for my beautiful Fire Earth Cuspies. And for anyone who is new, welcome, welcome. You know, I put up those shorts, you guys, and they just went crazy. I'm actually, like, blown away. Um, and I just want to welcome everyone who's new from those those videos because I'm just feeling very blessed right now. I'm like, I got back from the concert, you guys, and it just, you know, I was already moving so high. Um, I couldn't believe it just from a few videos. And then I put up those shorts and I've just been, it's just been one hell of a weekend. Just feel very blessed right now. Very blessed. You guys have just really blown my mind. All of you, just every sign is just wow. So Thank you, everybody. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it without you. So I'm very blessed right now talking about blessings. I just really wanted to put that out there. Really, uh, cat's got my tongue scenario. Uh, release resentments about money. Please, let's, let's, let's talk about that one for just one second. <laughs> Guys, if, if you're, for those of, you know, those of you who don't know this, you know, we don't, when we're manifesting, we don't talk about having resentment of money we need to change the way that we see and view money okay if you want money you can't have a resentment against it right if you really want real true money right doesn't mean you can't have money you're still gonna bust your ass to make it but i mean if you're really really wanting money and you you really have this you know understanding of that's not good for me or i can't have that 
Um, other people have that, but not me. We really need to go ahead and change that focus. Okay. Literally 100 because that keeps, that keeps you down in energy. Okay. And I know we've talked about that in manifestation videos, uh, which you can find in the playlist. Um, yeah, because that's a, that's a big one. Same with love and all kinds of things, right? Um, yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract support and, and golden opportunities. As I have said before, and those of you who are new, money is literally one of our pillars. We're the only creature on this planet that has to have money to live. So it has actually become a part of our roots uh, chakra system. No other, nothing on this planet besides us has that. Because the root chakra is a part of the vitality, but it's also the instincts, the natural instincts of what it is we need to live, right? It's our security system. We need shelter. We need food. We need water, right? And we need what? Money. So if we're resenting money or we're thinking we can't have it, then how are you going to attract something you can't have? Right? You're pushing it away. Um, right? No. So, but you have to understand that literally it's, you know, if you think money is evil, why would you want something evil? No, it's a part of your rich chakra system. It's a part of your pillars. For survival, that is, like I said, the chakra system is your survival chakra. Every animal has it, right? They need shelter, water, and food, right? So you think of it kind of like you, that's a part of your habitat. That's who you are, what you're made of, okay? It's your natural instincts as well, which natural instincts is different from intuition. You don't want to get those two mixed up. Right? Because natural instincts is actually a part of fight and flight. Intuition doesn't have that. Intuition says other things. Right? I have a gut feeling something bad might happen. Then your instincts will come in. Should we leave or should we go? Do you see what I'm saying? So you have two different systems. And then your logical mind comes in. That ego mind comes in and says, geez, I don't know. It's almost like if you were talking to yourself... Is me, myself, and I, <laughs> right? Like if you had a, a conversation, kind of reminds me of that Jim Carrey movie, Me, Myself, and I or something, or Me, Myself, and Irene, I think it was. But it's like if you were talking to yourself, right, that would be the conversation. Well, I don't know how this is going down, you know, and then the logical mind would be like, let's go, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, I, people, but you never, I mean, you kind of do, though, in your own ways, right? You kind of do, I mean. If you're in that kind of situation because you, your instincts, your natural instincts is going to either want to fight or flight, your gut instincts is like something's going down, you know? And then your mind's like, okay, we're getting the shit out of here, you know, we're running, right? It's a bear, we're going, right? He's going to kill us. Um, so I think we're taking the, the flight, right? Um, so you got to figure your mind's already kind of doing that for you. And those are the three systems that are going on. But it's also about money. Right? If you literally are telling yourself, then you're going against your pillar, your own pillar of survival. You have to understand. I mean, you really have to understand this, you guys. Okay? It, money is made for us. Now, because of karma and other things or what your vessel can hold, there's all kinds of other reasons why some can have more than others. Right? And it could just be built on karma reasons. Not 100% sure, but it's also about how much your, your vessel can hold because you could cap it off and say but I can't make more than I can have a lot of money but I, I know for a fact I, I won't be able to make more than three thousand dollars you know a month okay you just capsized yourself so now you're saying your vessel can't hold that right so there's all kinds of other reasons why some can make millions and it's also might be karmic right however okay or our, just our, I always say it's just a part of our journey. Our soul says, we've been here before. Maybe we were already filthy rich. And it doesn't want to learn that lesson anymore. Now it wants to know, you know, maybe how to be poor, live poor, and can only have this much. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I had those answers. If I had those answers, I would be a billionaire. See? There you go. 
That's why I keep thinking, well, if I had those answers, I'd be a billionaire. Wait one second. I'd be filthy rich. Okay. So positive faith and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. Whoa, what does it say? Do not allow negative energies or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path you are on. Don't let setbacks do it and don't let impatience also, right, do the same thing. So, guys, you got this. I love it. This is a great rating for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, hit that big old like button. And, you know, if you know others that could use this, go ahead and share. Bye-bye.